What is going on everyone? Today we are taking a look into the Might of the Merc Cosmetic Bundle. It has been a long while since we have had a new set of cosmetics due to COVID and such, but Intrepid is back with the amazing artwork and cosmetic skins, so let's get into it. A swamp is a sweltering mass of stagnation and decay. Yet beneath and above the billowing depths, life thrives. For those who know where to look, untapped power may be found. Be wary, as with any power, it is well guarded, and one would do well to remember that the bog is always watching. That is the theme behind this month's cosmetics. So let's get lost in the swamp and find equipment such as the Thicket's Endowment, which is an accessory cosmetic skin for your shoulders which would look absolutely amazing being equipped while wearing the Mire Shade Shroud, even though I don't really know if that's possible because they're both cosmetic skins and one's a costume and one's an accessory skin. Anyways, as we see here, these Renkai Orcs look as though they've come straight from the swamp. I know I say this every time some of these roll around, but the art design of this game is what's going to make it really stand out from the crowd, as these costume skins and the rest of the cosmetic skins are amazing. Anyways, moving on, we have the Bog Brew, which is a pet cosmetic skin. This guy is fresh from the swamp, ready to follow you around on all of your adventures throughout Vera. If you watched my latest video, I talked a bit about how I missed the 2018 Shell of the Ancients Turtle Mount, seeing how well Intrepid does with turtles. Well, the Timeless Terrapin will not be one I miss out on this time, as this turtle, who kind of looks like a dinosaur, once again, looks amazing. With his vegetation growing on the shell and the glowing blue from underneath the shell, it looks great and I can't wait to ride this turtle around. We then have the Verdant Voyager, which is a caravan skin. So if you want all of your goods to be carried away by a crocodile, this is the set for you. And lastly, we have the Refuge of Tranquil Waters. This being a freehold skin that would look perfect for you if you have a freehold plot in a swamp, as it will fit in perfectly with the rest of the environment. Even if you're not in a swamp and you're in some desert or something, still use this skin because it looks great. Anyways, once again, these sets do not disappoint. If you are interested in grabbing these sets, you can do so starting on July 15th, which means you only have until then to get your hands on the Dark Allegiance set. So grab that while you can as well. And like always, these sets come in various bundles for you to buy, granting you these various cosmetic skin items along with things such as alpha and beta keys, in-game currency, and subscription time as well. If you haven't made an Ashes of Creation account yet, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. If not, then, you know, don't. Doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. But, as always, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.